Hi everyone, it's Father Bob Gross. It's 9.37 on the fourth Sunday of Advent, December 23rd, 2018. Today concludes uh, the fourth Sunday, and the fourth Sunday and the fourth week of Advent is, is pretty much going to be one day. So I just want to share with you the homily that I gave. Today I am very thankful and grateful to God. I had a wonderful um, day today. Started with confessions, and then we had mass, and then mass, and then a wonderful brunch with a spiritual directee, and then we had uh, three communion calls uh, to people who can't make it to Christmas mass, and then um, had a chance to um, hear confessions for two hours and forty-five minutes. I only scheduled um, confessions from three to five, and I wasn't done until uh, five forty-five. Uh, which was just wonderful. And uh, when I came out of the confessional, the the midnight uh, mass choir was practicing their songs, and we had benediction, and it was just a wonderful uh, time. So, um, yeah, so I want to share with you what I talked about today. So I'm um, very grateful to be a priest today. So there is a, uh, a priest by the name of Father Bill List. He's a uh, Holy Cross priest, and he's the uh, Vice President for Catholic Mission at the University of Notre Dame. And in my last year as chaplain at Loris, he gave the commencement address to um, to the graduating class. And most of the time when you hear those type of speeches, you, you most of the time forget about them the moment that they're done. And um, But his has, us, has really stuck with me. And he talked about the, the rise in the last five to ten years of a new saying that people use, and that is, it is what it is. And um, he talked about how that is um, a saying that we have now that kind of speaks to like a to our resignation to uh, realities that we aren't particularly uh, fond of, but we have to live with. So if you don't like your job, you say, it is what it is. I got to deal with it. Or if it's a relationship that you wish would have gone differently, you say, it is what it is. You know, uh, uh, many circumstances you can say that, and there's, there's a tinge of cynicism behind that. And he started to offer to that class and to us is, What's the, what's the Christian response to that? And he offered it with this question to that statement. It is what it is, but what could it be? What could it be if we allowed God to be God in different circumstances? Well, I think that's a way to think about the gospel today. Today's the gospel of the visitation of Mary to Elizabeth. It's the the second joyful mystery of the rosary. And the fruit of that mystery is the love of neighbor. That Mary, after finding the news of being the mother of God, gets on a donkey probably and goes all the way to her cousin's house, Elizabeth. I don't know about you, I, I, I don't plan on getting pregnant anytime soon, but I think that's the last thing I'd be wanting to do. Uh, the moment that an archangel shows up to my door. Um, the next day I'm, I'm leaving to go see how my cousin is doing. And I think it, it, it brings up an aspect of the virtue of love of neighbor. And it gets to that saying, it is what it is, but what could it be? And here's what could it be. And that scene in scripture, you have a scene that is devoid and a total absence of any envy, jealousy, or competition between two people. Mary rejoices in Elizabeth's good news. Elizabeth rejoices in Mary's good news. And it both leads to praise of God. Elizabeth calls Mary the greatest woman to have ever lived, and the mother of her Lord. You know, most of the time that doesn't happen, that we call each other the greatest, you know, like, um, and it's actually true. Like, when you watch, like, a Miss America pageant or Miss Universe pageant, you know, I mean, they do all those forced hugs, like they're supposed to like each other, even though they're in, they're in, they're in competition with one another. It is what it is. People gossip. 
People are envious. People are jealous. But what could it be? We have an example of what it could be if we allow God to be God. And that was present in that scene between Mary and Elizabeth. I think that's an important thing. So think about the aspects in your life where you say, it is what it is. Or, that's the way it's always going to be. It's never going to change. But the Christian response, which is filled with hope, says, what could it be? And actually believes that it could. So here's some examples to think about. What if our community was free of gossip? Free of talking about each other behind each other's backs? It is what it is. People do that. But what could it be if we didn't do that? What type of trust would we have in our communities? What about this? You know, what if every single person woke up in the morning and they looked into the mirror and they would say to the mirror, not, oh God, it's another day, but that they would say in the mirror, Lord, I want to be a saint today. I want to be generous to you in the daily routine that I'm going to face again today. I say yes to everything today in the spirit of joy, faith, hope, and love. How would that change the world? Or think about the sins that you struggle with all the time. It is what it is. These are the sins I keep on saying. These are the habits that I have. These are the addictions that I struggle with. It is what it is. That's just the way the fallen world is. But what could it be if we let go of our control and let God to be God in those circumstances. Just think about that with our with our government. What if our political leaders would let go of partisan politics, of ambition, of wanting to be right, and seeking the possibility of coming to the common good together, of basic respect for one another, of assuming the best in one another. It is what it is, another government shutdown. But what could it be if we allowed God to move in our minds and in our hearts? It's very powerful to me. I think it's a powerful gospel. So as you reflect and get ready for uh, Christmas, I invite you to reflect upon it is what it is what it is moments in your life and start asking the question to god what could it be if you would be god in this situation because that's what mary and elizabeth did well i'm never going to have a child elizabeth could have said throughout her whole life but what could it be mary wasn't planning on being the mother of God. Oh, God can never give me that great task. It is what it is. I'll just be a regular Jewish woman in Nazareth. But what could it be? So I've repeated myself several times, and therefore I will stop speaking. Remember that Christmas Mass begins tomorrow. Christmas Eve is tomorrow. We're going to have Mass at 4 p.m. in Ashen. 6.30 p.m. in Festina, midnight in Spillville, and on Christmas Day, 10 a.m. at St. Aloysius in Calmer. Remember, Christmas comes from two words, Christ and Mass. Christ's Mass, Chris Miss. Keep Mass in your Christmas, and may God bless you. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you in church.